what's up guys welcome to the DMX show I'm your host Shane and the guys of you that follow my Twitter account you know that a couple of days ago well I guess it was last week I did announce that my wife finally gave me my droid X back uh, so I'm gonna get into some more droid X ROM reviews droid X hacks mods etc so I'm pretty excited about that and the first ROM that I want to review for the droid X now that we're back on the droid X is the AOKP milestone 5 probably one of the best second edit ROMs for this device. This is an ice cream sandwich ROM and Droid X will never receive ice cream sandwich. It's always going to be stuck on gingerbread. Um, so we have to rely on developers to get us ice cream sandwich. If you want ice cream sandwich on your Droid X, you're just going to have to root it and ROM it uh, in this sort of thing. Of course, most of you guys already know that. Anyhow, without further ado, let's jump into this Droid X ROM review. So like I said, this is AOKP. Uh, sorry about that, guys. My wife had turned on the autofocus. We were at the zoo the other day, so when you take pictures with this thing, it's got to be autofocused. Anyhow, right off the bat, you can see the fruity AOKP wall paper. I have some lock screen options here that are pretty cool. Uh, you saw the Droid Modder X as the carrier logo instead of Verizon. It does come with Nova Launcher, which is a custom ice cream sandwich style launcher. And uh, it has tons of features. We could jump into those just by going to Menu. And uh, we could go to Nova Settings. And of course you have all your ice cream sandwich launcher settings here. You have different desktop settings. Uh, you can change your scroll effect. I've got it on Cube Out. Uh, you can change infinite scrolling, desktop grid. Just tons of stuff in this Nova Launcher. If you haven't seen Nova Launcher, um, even if you're not going to run a ROM, grab it from the market. It is awesome. Scroll effect. Uh, you can change the transition effect there. Background transparency for the drawer. All kinds of different stuff. Uh, the dock. You can you can enable different things and change different things in the dock. So like here on the dock, it is scrollable, which is really cool. You can add as many options here in the dock as you want, as many icons as you would like. Uh, one other thing that's cool about this AOKP ROM, you notice that clock widget, I'm sure. It just comes standard, the digital clock. I love that. That's like the same as what's on your lock screen, uh, but it's right here in the widget drawer. I like that a lot. Uh, if you pull down, if you pull down the notification bar, you've got all kinds of settings here. You've got toggles here. Uh, you've got quick access to your settings. You have a brightness slider here. Of course, you can turn that to auto as well. Um, and then we'll get into the modifications. Oh, one other thing before we get into the modifications here, you do have a power screen, a reboot screen, which includes screenshot, where you can take a quick screenshot, and also a toggle for torch. So you can quickly get into your, your torch flashlight there as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll turn that off. And let's see, was there anything else that I wanted to show you before we got into the settings? Not that I can think of. I'm sure we'll come back to that. So we'll go ahead and jump into the settings, which of course includes ROM control. That is the main feature of AOKP. Now this is the Droid X, so you have, uh, you do have your buttons down here. So you really don't have any need for a navigation bar, but if you just wanted to try it out just to see what's included with Ice Cream Sandwich, you could enable that. Of course, it does require a reboot, but we'll go through some of these settings in case you do decide to enable it. Uh, you can change your menu location, your menu visibility. You can change the navigation bar color. Uh, you can change the, the glow color, so whenever you press on the navigation bar buttons. Uh, so these are the soft buttons that, that are software buttons, not the hard buttons, but software buttons built into Ice Cream Sandwich. You can change all of those uh, settings here. You can even add custom icons, including like a Twitter icon, a YouTube icon, an email icon, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, which I guess if you wanted to, you could just not use these buttons and you could use the navigation buttons. That would be fine. I just find on the Droid X, you know, why take up screen real estate? But that's just me. Maybe you want to enable those. Uh, so there's some cool... Uh, general UI settings, you can disable the boot animation. I'll show you guys that on the way out of this video. You can allow 180 degree rotation, which just allows you to rotate your phone all the way around and the screen will follow you. You can change LCD density. Uh, you can change the CRT animation to be on or off. And you can enable uh, volume options. And of course you can change your carrier label instead of it saying Verizon. You could have it to say whatever. I've got it to say Droid Modder X. You can change the rotation delay so you can speed this up. I've got it as fast as it'll go so that way when I turn it, it turns very fast. Of course you can make it real laggy if you wanted to. 
Uh, in the lock screen options, lots of customization here. You can choose a lock screen wallpaper. You can change the text color of the text on your uh, on your lock screen just by selecting a color and clicking that to set that. Um, <clears throat> You can change the style. I prefer quad, but you can go with Octo, Stock, AOSP, or Honeycomb. And you can choose to make the lock screen weight. Uh, lock screen battery percentage, so that your battery percentage is always on the lock screen. Uh, you do have volume weight for those of you that are too lazy to reach up here. You can wake up your phone with the volume rocker. Uh, you can set the volume music control so that you can uh, control your volume for your whenever you're playing your music directly from the lock screen. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, and then there's a few other things there, like you can enable fast torch. So we'll go into the lock screen. I'll show you what that is. Okay, so from here, I can just hold. Well, actually, I'm sorry. From here, I can just hold, and it should have turned on. Yeah, there you go. It turns that on, and then when I let go, it, it's off. So that's quick access to the, to the torch application. You can do a horizontal lock screen, and then you can change your custom apps. Like you saw that I had... Um, I had the phone app and the text messaging app on my lock screen. You can change those to any custom application that you want. And we'll go into the power menu option. So whenever I press and hold the power button, it brings up the power option. I can select the screenshot and the toggle for torch. And I can also add the airplane toggle. So if I deselect that, that'll take that off on the fly, which is really cool. And of course, uh, we have a weather widget, which we can enable that to put that on the drop down menu and also on the lock screen. You have power saver options. Uh, you can enable this. I choose to leave it alone. Um, but if you want to, this should help with saving power and battery life. And LED options. This would be for like your LED light that flashes up here to notify you. You can change the color of that and also the duration of the pulse. Uh, in general settings here, there's a few different things. Uh, you can change the notification icon transparency, enable USB debugging, um, and a few other little things here. And toggles, this would be the pull down toggles, which are here. There's plenty of customization you can do with this. You can enable certain toggles, so there's pretty much anything that you can think of in this menu. So if I just turn on for, say, uh, for instance, say vibrate or data. If I pull those down, those toggles will now be there, and it is scrollable, so you can add all of them if you like. Uh, I'll go ahead and take those back off real quick. And let's see. You can change the brightness location, which is the auto brightness slider there. You can change that. And you can change your toggle style. So you can have text or icon only, and then the alternate toggles, I had selected those. This is what it really comes with, which some people really like that, but it's just not as simplistic. Um, to me, I, I prefer the simplistic alternate toggles. Of course, you can just reset those to default there as well. You can change some clock settings. You see that I have mine in the center. You can also choose to put that to the right or no clock at all. Um, I know this is taking forever to get through the ROM control, but if, for those of you that have never seen it, I just want to go through everything that you could possibly have in AOKP. A lot of the ROMs that are coming out have stolen features from AOKP, or I shouldn't say stolen, I should say kanged uh, features from AOKP. So you'll see these features in other ROMs. For battery, you can change the icon style. So there's several to choose from. I go with icon and text, so I can clearly see uh, there what I have. You can do the My UI battery bar. It's built right into this ROM, so you can just quickly uh, turn that on as well. So I have it hidden now. If I wanted it on the status bar, it's instantly there on the fly. Everything on this ROM is just on the fly, and you can change the colors on pretty much everything. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hide that again because I'm actually one that prefers not to have that. Uh, signal, you can change the way that the signal reads up top. Performance settings, this would be your CPU settings. You can change your max CPU. Um, you can really underclock it. There's no overclocking here because there's not... Uh, you guys know that the Droid X has a locked bootloader, so we can't change the kernel. Uh, so there's no way that we can control uh, the CPU settings from within this ROM control. You can change your minimum CPU. You can change your governor. Uh, so if you wanted performance, that would be horrible battery life. On-demand is going to give you a little bit better battery life. 
You can choose to set that at boot. This fast charge, I'd be cautious with that. I just killed a Galaxy Nexus, and I don't know if it had anything to do with this fast charge. I did enable it, and then a few days later, my charging port went out. So I'd be very careful with that one. I'm not sure what it does. I know that it does work on the Galaxy Nexus anyhow. I'm not sure if it works here. Uh, it says that it has to be supported by your kernel. Obviously, we're not changing out kernels on this phone, so it may not even be supported on this phone. But anyhow, I'd be careful with that. That's just my word of caution. And then there's some startup tweaks here, build out prop edits and whatnot. I'd be very cautious when changing any of those. Uh, the one thing that I forgot to mention is the wallpapers. Uh, well, if we press and hold, We should be able to go to our wallpapers and you do have some AOKP wallpapers and it just goes with this fruity unicorn theme. So you'll see all throughout you've got the unicorn and even a picture of uh, President Obama holding the unicorn. So guys that is pretty much everything for AOKP Milestone 5. In my opinion, this ROM is going to give you incredible performance, decent battery life. I would say mediocre to decent. You're not going to get the best battery life out of this, but that's the case with all second-ended ROMs. Uh, so no surprise there. Also, I will say that this is one of the most customizable ROMs. So there's a lot to go through, and you really could play with those settings for hours on end. Um,